Okay guys, so let's try Emir. Emir is one of those guardians that seems very simple, but he's actually very hard to play efficiently, right? Because, he, uh, you know, he's very, uh, how to say, predictable. Uh, so what do we need? Well, we need some movement speed so we can go out and in and out easier. We need some cooldown, right? So we can also counter build depending on their composition. If they have three physical gods, we can go for virginity, right? Uh, Shogun is also one of the strongest tower in the game, especially if you have hunters and animation cancelers in your team, so you can clear objectives faster, animation cancel faster, and so on. But today I actually want to try uh, movement speed meta, okay, for Emir. Uh, we go we go starter into Winged Blade into Witch Blade, right? And this will give you a lot of movement speed. And th this is how you're gonna juke, and you're gonna be naturally tanky because you're Emir, you know? So we'll see how this works. Uh, I tried this on a carry, right? Uh, you go, you know, flat pinite and double damage item, and then you can go Winged Blade or Witch Blade. Uh, but then you're losing a lot of damage, and when you get Witch Blade online, uh, Acarylic Dagger upgrade, you're losing a lot, you're getting behind, and it's not good. So let's try this on a Guardian, actually. If you play a carry, you can always buy Winged Blade or Valor, right? These are your two best counter building options and this will allow you to have more damage in the long run and survive longer and buy the time for your team. Now let's see the enemy composition, three physicals, double mage, right? Uh, we also need some anti heal because they have Anubis and Change. So we're gonna go to Virginity, uh, we can go Pestilence, we can go um, maybe Divine, but I don't really think so. So we'll see. We can actually just go, uh, I think, the not the Relic Digger. We'll see what we go. Thor is annoying. He has long range poke. A lot of bonus damage. Erlang Shani, don't see him every day. Also Medusa, right? Uh, Change beta tester. There used to be a saying, always buy a lot of cooldown on Change on Ares. This really allows them to dance. So what we go? Do we go starter or do we go straight into Winger Blade Rush? Uh, we could go Warflag, but let's try actually Winged Blade Rush. Uh, let's see which starter can we go. Uh, we could actually buy a Warding Sigil, which was actually insanely good on Guardians. Now you can probably go Warflag or Sentinel's Gift. Usually you go Sentinel's Gift in, uh, in Conquest, right? For that early game sustain, which is actually so important. So you can tank minions, apply pressure, clear those archers. Uh, I'm gonna go Warflag, right? Warflag is really good buff. We need beats, of course. And then we're gonna actually go Winged Blade Rush into Witch Blade, and then we we'll see how this go. Uh, Witch Blade will be a huge counter. Oh, fuck, fuck this second relic really like go. They have three physical gods, so reducing their attack speed will be actually huge, you know, against Thor, Medusa, and their Langshank. Also, people don't realize that reducing their attack speed actually increases your basic attack speed animation time. So it's very, it's way harder uh, to animation cancel. So if you see Susano in the enemy team, you can counter him by this. Okay, never mind this. But I'm just here to soak some damage, you know? I'm doing my role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my role as a support. I'm soaking damage. Um, I'm applying pressure, I'm baiting some abilities. You don't even need to hit our thing. You see? I don't wanna die. Of course, you hit that. I don't have enough movement speed. But don't worry, that's gonna change soon. We need some physical protection fast, uh, so. Actually, we might actually go uh, so virginity or Valor before we win by Witchblade, so we'll see. They have a lot of physical damage, yeah, always check who's top damage, right? They have most three physical gods. Yeah, 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 bro, let's go. Can I hit my abilities? I'm not used to my sensitivity, but we'll see. Very good clear, that's why Mir was always meta in, meta in Conquest, you have one of the best clear in the game. Yeah, I'm so bad though. But when we get moons it's gonna change, so we should be what is this bro doing? Oh can I Oh it's our Odin, okay. You have to be careful. Odin uh, Odin uh, I suggest uh winged blade. If you go in like that, just get winged blade and you're gonna go out very easily. But I have Winged Blade now, which actually, they actually buff Winged Blade. This, uh, when you proc this, you buff your whole team. This is one of the best items in the game currently. People don't realize how, how important is Anti-Slow in this game, right? When you are slowed, you cannot juke. 
So if you have something like Winger Blade or Sprint Relic, uh, you can juke anybody in this game. So let's see. What is this bro doing? Without this bro, come on. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, to slow these guys down. Now we have Winger Proc. It's so much better. Now we can engage every time we want. We can block this guy. Get some, use some pots. Okay, we have to run. Even though I still have Winger Blade Proc, so, but yeah. We need to reset fight often. This is what. Oh my god. This is what Arena is all about. Resetting fights of often. A good Arena team will um, reset fights often. And you will push when you need to push. And you will retreat when you need to retreat. That's why it's so important to have a good shot cooler. We need some physical protection, right? This is the most important thing here. Uh, we need cooldown or we need... I mean, Surginity is really good. If you play against three physicals, always get Surginity as first or second item. And then you can just buy Shogun, Bingle Blade, Spectral, Valor, Stone of Binding. You have many choices, right? Why is my announcer so quiet, bro? So you fix. Help to body block. Uh, voice effects are way too loud. It's not going well. Ah, oh, shoot. Thor is annoying, but hey. Sadly, I cannot hear my voice lines, which is the best part of the game, but okay. Let's go. Now we have Sovereignty, now we're gonna be Gucci. Now we just need Witchblade, bro. We're gonna juke them like nothing. You have to play aggressively, support, you have to take enemy attention. The worst thing that, that can do, that can happen to you as a support or warrior, is that they're simply gonna ignore you and focus your allies. You see we have Winger Blade proc, we can play aggressively, I'm not afraid. If they slow me, I also give slow immunity to my whole team. Can kill this guy. He has no escape now. We have to focus this guy. Nice. I'm better. Of course he got his one. He has Yotos. No, he doesn't. Okay. Now we have to reset fight. Oh shit, come on bro, let me go back. <laughs> okay, let's buy Witchblade now. Soon, very soon. Now this is one of the strongest aura in the game actually. Bewitched Dagger. All enemy gods have 25% reduced attack speed. This is the best counter against gods that animation cancel a lot, like Susano. A best counter against hunters and three uh, teams with three physical gods, right? So in most quest games, this aura is very strong. Kill this guy. Can't really face tank and Ubi Sulk. We're gonna zone control or run. I have winged proc, it should be good. Well, I don't wanna die with him, bro. Sorry, I hear that anyway. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get this. Here's virginity for my team. We have war flag. Attack. Yes. Here to defend now. We have to take enemy attention. If the enemy stands beside the uh, thing, they can push it. So we just need to take uh, their attention. This is your job as a support. And we're pretty tanky, so we should be good. Also, you have Shogun. Allows you to clear objectives way faster. If you play any conquest, always buy Shogun. Okay, now we're gonna get Bewitched Dagger. And once you combine Winged Blade and Bewitched Bl Dagger, Aka Witch Blade, you can juke anybody in this game. Let's go. This should be a huge counter against Medusa, Langshan, and Thor. Just like Sovereignty is a good counter too, so let's go. 
Now they cannot hit me, bro. You know? Because he's a noob, it's a bit, why not? I almost got my ulti. Let's go. He's dead. Fight alongside us to defeat the Deceptor Nods. Yeah. I'll do oh shit. Please bro move, I body block. Bro move. Fuck. I need to run. Don't wanna die with them too. We did good I think. Okay, reset. And this is what arena is all about, this is why people love arena, constant action, constant team fights, right? People that think arena is mindless never really played arena at the top level. They don't understand the anti snowball mechanics, resetting fights often, uh, how the ticket system works, last 10 tickets only big minimum count, so if you have 10 tickets and enemy has 50 tickets, you can still lose the game very easily because you're gonna lose tickets at much uh, lesser rate than if you have 50 minions because again last 10 tickets only big minion count so you need 10 waves to finish the game right but for the enemy if they have 50 tickets each wave still count as a seven so we reduce their attacks with nice gonna be good this guy is not tanky or something i don't know beauty nice Where is my team? No idea. Okay. Rogue doing good, but he's alone. Don't wanna die to run. <laughs> run. I can win same moment speed, so we should be good. Yeah, and thank you, bro. And thank you, bro. <laughs> Slow him, yeah, he's dead. Nice, now we just buy Shogun, best tower in the game, and we're gonna be good. This is how you play support in this meta, pretty much, War Flag, uh, you can go to Virginity, Winged Blade, Dagger, Shogun. These are your meta, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 auras in fact, right? Even Winged Blade can count as aura, when you proc it, it affects your whole team in some way. Show, uh, so virginity is protection are good in early game against three physical teams and uh, flat pin item junglers in conquest games, right? Uh, one of the strongest aura in the game, just Shogun and, uh, and Witchblade, right? And when you have a lot of movement speed, you can go out, in and out very easily. And you have a lot of cooldown too, so... Our comrades need aid. Oh, I'm dead, bro. I done. It's like I'm not tanky against these guys, I don't know. But we did our job, we have more than 3000 HP, so you know, it's not like we are not tanky, we need a bit more physical protection, I think. Let's see how much crit do they have, not much, so we don't go, uh, uh, we have 10, we need more cooldown, let's go better now. Or you can go enter heal, right, cooldown or enter heal, basically, at this point. Kill this guy. Nice, very nice damage from Zhong. Now we have Shogun, we can clear this end of three. Fuck. Can you please? Please, please. Nice, very nice block. Nice, let's go. We did our job, good job. And because we have Shogun Kuzari, we buff the attack speed of allies by 30%, so they can uh, use basic faster and animation cancel faster. I think he beats, okay, that's good. We can slow him down. We are way faster than he is, so... But the team is already back, so we have to be careful. Yeah, we can do this. Do some damage. Nice. Okay, we run. I have beats ready. Yeah, Thor is so stupid right now, he can proc so many items when he will see it's stupid. And he's also tanky on top of that. With, well, this is the problem with current meta, they go Gladiator Shield, they go Pridewind, they have insane damage, but they are still tanky. 
This game is stupid, that's the problem, okay? Harris has no idea how to balance this game. But now, instead of 20, we actually have 40% cooldown. If you go Valor, Shogun and Witchblade, you have maximum cooldown. And you have both protections and two best auras in the game. So this is the actually secret meta for supports. Yeah, yeah, bro. Body block you. <laughs> there I go. We are so tanky, bro. We freeze them. Nice. We have, now we have maximum cooldown, so... This is when your gameplay becomes very more fluid. You can even skip uh, so virginity and go straight into Valor. Oh shit. I'm so tanky bro, you can't just kill me. You have to run though. We can clear this. Always make sure you last hit. Okay, run. You have to body block. <laughs> very nice body block, let's go. Nice five se last five seconds. And this is how you play, you have to reset fights often. We have to CC this guy, now we run. Okay, let's go. Now we have to push back, this is the best time to push when they're pushing you. This is what arena is all about, pushing and retreating constantly, dancing on the battle line. Attack. You know, they did a mistake, they over pushed, right? They didn't re reset fights uh, when they needed. And when you are losing uh, in arena, this is the best time to actually uh, come back. Uh, just like with the last 10 ticket system. When you have 10 tickets and the enemy has 50 tickets, you can still actually lose the game. Because you are losing the tickets at much lower uh, at much lower rate than they are. Right? Because last 10 tickets, only big ma minion count as one. So you need 10 ways to finish the game, your, man, your opponent is still losing 7 tickets per, uh, per, per wave. If you stand beside the tower you can push it in, that's a secret tactic. We have to run now. Run. Ah oh, fuck, I misclicked. Please run, which blade, finger blade. Oh my god, you can body block, nice. No. Kill her. Oh my god. No, he has no cooldown or something, I don't know. Yeah, 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 bro. Now we can body block. No, don't... Fuck, she body block at me a bit. God damn it. I hope he doesn't have blink. There's no way he catch me up, you know. I have double movement speed item, you know. Plus the war flag. We can actually upgrade war flag, I forget about that. Want to smash it? I forget to take my second relic. Yeah, actually, sprint relic is actually very good for late game. Uh, you, have, you give slow immunity to your whole team, which is actually huge. Oh, come on, I was not in range. Ah, oh, fuck, Turing coming. Can you? Oh my god, I thought she's used his one. Nice, bye bye. We have Shogun boy, we have a lot of damage. Can CC her. Oh shit. Okay, we have to reset fire. Oh. I don't know, I don't have item slots anymore. God damn it. You see, a lot of these items are quite cheap too. You see, Winged Blades, Virginity, the Vishu, they're quite cheap, you know. Retreat. You have to reset fight, bro, please. I mean, I... Fuck, he's so tanky, but still he's doing amazing damage. He's an army, fuck this up. Why don't you retreat when you bro, come on. How can I help you? Fucking hell, bro. Slow him down, I missed. Ah, GG. GG. We tried, we tried. Could be played better, you know, but this is always the beauty of Arena. I just can't wait that we actually get an updated Arena map with rank leaderboard and rewards. But Harris don't listen to the player base, you know. We can, they can't even make a good uh, pro scene with tournaments. So, this game has been going downhill for the last five years. And this is the sad reality. They, they, they remove so much of the fun content from the game from, for no good reason. Adventures, Domination, Smite, uh, smite card. Uh, uh, clash, Siege, Arena ranked. Why would you ever do that? Use your assets. Bring back players to the game. GG.
but yeah, uh, this new support meta is really good. Um, they all had actually pretty good damage, you see. Our Junk carried this a lot. Let's see his build. Yeah, cool done. Mm. There used to be a saying that Chrono's Pendant is not good first item because he's so expensive, but now most of these mage items are quite expensive, so Chrono's is actually probably one of the strongest items right now. And then you also go flat pin, you go lifesteal, I mean you don't even need lifesteal on Junk. You just go cooldown, you go pin, you know. Oh, GG easy. But this is the problem with current meta, you see, Torbird, Alex Shambing. They have no flat pin items, they have no damage, but they're still doing amazing damage. Look, this guy go 15 and 0. With zero damage items, he just have fucking bonus damage items. Sander, Gladiator Shield, Pride Win. It's so stupid. And he can proc this Pride Win on it every time he ults. It's stupid. Why, Harris? Why would you do that? And he gets, of course, insane protections from Spirit Rope. He gets insane bonus damage. Items like the other shield that gives you bonus damage. The more protections you have should never exist in this fucking game. What is Harris doing, man? Seriously. These guys really don't know how to run the game, right? They had one of the best MOBA game on the market with best action combat. Uh, best social system. This game is 10 years old. When this game came out, it was one of the best thing out there. And they still didn't manage to improve it after so many years when they had literally zero competition on the MOBA market. Like how? How? How did you manage to do that? At least make UI that actually has character. You arena fans are ranked leaderboard, but that's what have been playing asking for years. You need five years to update your arena map. The most popular game mode, you need five years. You removed Clash, you removed Siege for no good reason. A game what people love. <laughs> it's, it's, 